so something happened i'm not sure maybe i lost that video hopefully you guys saw it maybe it's safe who knows but uh i was talking about the metaphor of just friending someone and then and then trying to hit them up or pitch them right away i, I compare that to going to a bar and just hitting on random women trying to get laid right is it effective you talk to enough women eventually you're going to find someone stupid enough to go home with you right uh, or drunk enough right uh, but I, I don't see a value in the fact that you're going to have a one night stand and you're not gonna it's not gonna lead to, to reciprocal or, or more than just that one instance right uh, I, I consider you know sales and relationship building and such like dating you know you got to court the person you got to impress them you got to make them like you as a person personality wise attractively before you can ask for the next date or whatever right uh, so Compared to, you know, instead of going to the bar and hitting on random strangers, compared to being at a high school campus and you're trying to be the most popular person in school, right? And you just moved in. You just moved into the school and you're trying to be the most popular. You don't you, you don't become popular by hitting on every single girl that you run into. No, you become popular by being a cool person and, 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 and treating everyone with respect and, you know, making friends with the right people and hanging out and, and being seen and being invited to certain things and then... You know, eventually you're gonna be in in the same party with uh, you know the girl that you actually are attracted to, and she knows who you are, and you know who you are, and you know you guys go for uh, the punch bowl at the same time. And that's when you're like, hey, you know, what's up? And then you have a conversation, right? Uh, that's what I compare it to, right? It, 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 you can't, you cannot just like someone and then message someone and pitch them. That's the same thing as, as, as liking someone or adding them as a friend and then inviting them to like your page automatically. Now, now the person feels duped, they added you as a friend, and the reason why you're friends with them is because you want them to like your page, which to them brings no value. It brings that person that you just like no value whatsoever, right? Uh, so that's a good way to scare business off, uh, scare business away and, and, and not create a connection. So that's the second reason why I think you should messenger. Third reason why I think you should messenger, right, is if you are literally, uh, if you're literally putting your information out there, kind of like, uh, you know, like a survey question, you know, like, I'll give you an example. One time I asked the question, you know, how long have you owned your home for? And I put this on my page, and people would comment, you know, I've been there for two years, five years, whatever, and I would message them individually. I'm like, great, I see that you've been home for two years, the reason I'm asking is because uh, I've been doing a lot of refinances, and I believe I can help you. Uh, you know, what is your current rate, or what is your current monthly payment, or whatever, or how much do you think your house is worth at this moment, and create a conversation. Now, you gotta be, you gotta be careful with that, because people might feel tricked like why why did you post that well he posted it because he's just trying to messenger me and try to sell me right um, but you know if they're in your friends list or if there's someone connected to you and they, they answer you might you might even go to like a, a group and post this and you might get nothing but strangers commenting I believe that gives you a reason to messenger because yes you're doing business but you didn't messenger someone out of nowhere they engaged in your post in your comment that you created and uh, you know, if they're a logical human being, they realize, okay, he asked me for business purposes, and that's why he's messaging me. He's not just a creep. He's not just randomly messaging people. He he, he threw something out there. I responded, so that's why he's messaging me. So it's I would consider like a really quick uh, call to action kind of a situation. You know, instead of like creating an ad where I, I post it on Facebook and then someone signs in and puts their name and number, and then I call them later on. I'm creating a call to action situation where I posted a post in a group or on my page, people were responding and I'm messaging them right away. Right? I think that's okay. I mean, it's a little bit aggressive, but no one's going to, uh, you know, no one's going to, you know, consider you a piece of crap for messaging them based on the fact that they answered your question uh, that you posted on your, your page or your so again, let's go over the three reasons why I think it's okay to message someone. Number one, someone asks for help and you know you can directly help them, right? Uh, it's smart to go ahead and tell them that you're gonna messenger them 
on the comment that they posted or the uh, post itself. Uh, but you can literally message them right away if you want to. That's the first reason. Second reason is if you've been interacting with this particular person, uh, they might not even be your friend. Maybe you guys interact with each other in a group, but you know of each other, you've liked each other's posts, whatever. And uh, the smartest way to approach that is if they like or comment on one of your posts, and you can use it as an icebreaker. I think that's a, in terms of etiquette and in terms of effectiveness, that's the second reason why you can message someone. The third time you can message someone is if you yourself elicit responses by posting a post on your personal page or posting a post in a group and people are responding to it and it gives you something to work off of. Like, hey, thanks for liking my post or thanks for messaging or, or commenting my post. Let me ask you about your, your home that you've been in for three years. Or if you're selling cars, you know, what, you know if you can ask the question, you know, when's the last time you bought a new car? It's been three three years. Hey, I noticed that you haven't bought your car in three years. Uh, well, why haven't you considered trading up? Whatever. Right? Anyways, uh, hopefully you got some value out of that. I think Messenger is probably the greatest tool. I was asked in an interview, uh, you know, on a live interview with uh, uh, Dave Winston. He's a real estate uh, influencer. He's an admin in one of these larger real estate groups. He asked me the question, what's the one tool you cannot live without of? What's the one tool that you must absolutely have? And I told him it was Messenger, right? I mean, I could actually probably live without Facebook uh, as long as I have my Messenger. Because with face, you know, Facebook. Well, I mean, Facebook sets the platform for Messenger. But if I had to, all I need is my friends list on my Messenger, and I can just kind of work off of that, right? Uh, plus, again, I tell you, I communicate all, with all my clients through Messenger, and that's why it's so valuable to me. Sometimes Facebook doesn't work the way uh, I wish it did, whereas Messenger does. Uh, so hopefully, again, you guys can buy out that. You have any questions? tips and tricks that you want to share with me or ask from me, uh, I'm an open book. This is Larry, the Mortgage Guy.